Hey guys, what's up? Warrior Farmer here back with another one. And on today's episode, as you can see, our peppers are starting to change color on us. So let's get these on the uh, cutting board and see if we can't take a closer look at them, man, because they're starting to look pretty crazy. Got some nice coloring on these on these baddies finally. Took about a week or two after uh, the big chop. So we're just gonna take a look at them and see what we're dealing with here, man. All right, guys, so here's a closer look at the Palermo peppers, the sweet Palermo peppers, my uh, my uh, favorite stuffing pepper that you can get. Better than your regular bell peppers. Super high brie value, and for those of you who know what the brie value means, it's basically the sweetness level of these peppers are one of the highest, if not the highest, that you can get. Now, obviously, you can see this amazing chocolatey, uh, dark brown coloration that we have in this genetic and this is also the plant that yielded the most and these pods these peppers actually were finished faster than last year so last year i believe it was the chocolates and the red palermos that took the longest to ripen this year they were the fastest moving on we have the yellow version here as well too the yellow actually took a little bit longer to ripen and as you can see here it's not exactly 100 percent finished um still waiting for them to completely ripen it's been about I don't know, I'd say about a week since I've chopped everything down. Um, very nice coloring, and these are just super unbelievable peppers, man. Very, very nice for frying, very nice for stir fries. I will be chopping them and freezing them for the most part and using them over winter. Um, <clears throat> there's only a few examples. There's actually, sorry, there's, so far there's only one example of the orange that's come out. It did finish pretty quickly, and it's been solid orange. I don't even actually, to tell you the truth, remember seeing it looking green, to be honest with you, from I, from I brought it inside. So uh, there's an orange Palermo there. It's not super big compared to the other ones, but here we have, I believe, what's going to end up being a red Palermo because it's so much darker than the orange. Not 100% ripe yet. We will have to give it another day or so. And that is basically what the four different versions look like thus far. Obviously, we do have a whole bunch uh, on the table over there, but waiting for those to ripen. Now, when you're looking at the hot peppers, a lot of these have been finishing up very nicely. I'm very happy with how thick these Cayonetta peppers have come compared to um, the previous generations, which kind of looked more like this. Obviously, this is an unripe version, but super, super difference in how thick and how much meat the actual pod has on it. That's a result of my very selective crossbreeding and, you know, my seed selection. So that's why I like using the year after seeds you might get some crosses in it but it is what it is the risk you run right carolina reapers are finishing off pretty smoothly considering um you know pretty con considering i pulled these down i would in what i would say is much too early for them to have finished but they did finish up pretty well not crazy size but i mean i do have some some decently sized pods man to be honest with you so, I mean, it is what it is. And <laughs> the Sugar Rush Peach Stripe, these turned out pretty amazing as well, man. A lot of amazing coloring and striation on these. I don't know if you guys saw the Peach Stripey video that I did recently. One of my, if not my favorite genetic, actually edible. You can pretty much eat these raw if you have a somewhat of a tolerance to the, uh, the you know, mild to hot peppers. If you eat peppers all the time, I'd highly suggest checking these out. You can obviously probably get them online at this point, but yeah, man, just wanted to give you guys a, view of what this shit looks like when it's pretty much done this is possibly the last harvest of the season well it is the last harvest of the season so uh, very happy with this year's results i will be taking seeds from all of these of uh, my favorite pods and saving those for next year because obviously that's what we do and i'll be doing the same with these hot peppers after i dehydrate them in the good old trusty air fryer uh, all i do is go to the dehydration setting which most of you guys probably don't use but dehydration and yeah man takes about you know six hours i'm not going to dehydrate these only the hot peppers though i will be making my hot flakes off of these you know sugar rush peach stripes because they're delicious and i'm very curious to see how they turn out in flake form and i have a lot of stock of this already ready to go um i will be showing you guys the herbs as well too man because i do have uh, have finished a lot of my herbs, but I'll show you that on a different video. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of these peppers, man. Which one is your favorite? What color of pepper is your favorite? And um, do you guys have all four like I do? Because I just got lucky. <laughs> um, 
and how did your peppers come out this year? Which ones did you guys grow? And did you guys get to ever try the peach, the sugar rushes, man? Because this is this is just such an amazing genetic, you know. But yeah, anyways, see you guys on another one, man.